Okay, so I ordered these forget-me-nots. Uh, they're supposed to be natural, 200 pieces, right? So I opened up the package. There were remnants inside the package here. And look how terrible the quality is. It's just awful. I haven't even opened this up yet, but I will because just look at that. That one's probably totally ruined. This is just terrible quality. So, I'm not spending $18 on this. If these are dyed, they're flying back if they react in resin. Literally, because, you know, they're from China. <laughs> but this is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Okay, I'm actually going to count these, and then I'm going to try one in resin, just so that everybody knows what they're getting. Just terrible. Carefully opening these. Oh my gosh. And then I'm going to change the angle to count these. Get a little tiny. Look at that. They are just mashed in here. Look at the terrible quality. Oh, I'm so mad. I don't even think these are real forget-me-nots. They smell like they've been dyed. And yes, I'm actually going to count these. But I won't be able to show you how I'm going to put them. This one looks white. What's the back cover look like? I mean, that's the back. <laughs> Unbelievable. They're transparent. Absolutely awful just awful okay I don't have my regular camera set up that's why I, I can't count the whole thing but this is absolutely awful they're very fragile look at that that's going to look terrible in resin Uh, just for size comparison, what can I do here? They use a 50 cent piece. I'll use a half dollar. Okay. Just something that I have hanging around here. Probably get, should use a penny or something, but you know, you get my point. Some of these are going to look just awful, and they are definitely not worth the purchase. I can tell you that right now. Look at the size differences on these. These are not forget-me-nots. They have five petals, but nope, nope, nope. So there might be 200 here, but uh, I'm going to separate the usable ones. Look at, look at that. That's just like, there's probably 20 or 30 of them here that are not usable. Just awful. Very, very, very upset. Shame on you, seller. Okay, crazy as it sounds, yes, I did count them. There are like 137 of them. Oh, I bought 200. And... I did put a penny down here for comparison, 
but I want to, to show you. How, this should have been sold as forget-me-not parts or fake forget-me-not parts because that's exactly what it looks like. These will never, ever hold up in resin. They will disappear. Look at how much damage they are. You can't even use these. I'll get to the... I just wanted to show you. See, there's a part here. All these parts, and I did not do this. These are... They jammed them in here so badly. But I ordered 200. I got 137. And yes, I did count them. You know, the seller has a choice. They can either send me another batch uh, of 200, like I ordered, or these are going to fly back. And this is going on YouTube because nobody should be buying from sellers that are this careless. Oh, so angry. These are, these are just, what a waste of money. And you can tell. Look, the dye doesn't disappear on real flowers. These are dyed. Just hate it when Amazon allows false advertising. There was supposed to be three of these things. That's what was in the picture. That's what I was expecting to get. Yet they jam them all in there so that they all get damaged. Again, 137. So if you want to waste your money, be my guest. Not happy. Bye. Okay, I apologize for the lighting here. Um, I'm gonna be using Let's Resin Clear. This is the hard type. And it's kind of hard to do this with one hand, so I'm just gonna see if it will react. because I don't want to waste all my resin. But I thought to complete this video, people would like to see. It's already way too much, but. This is just a thin test. I doubt I can salvage this. But then people will know what they're getting. Okay. I'm going to put this under my... And I just spilled all my water. Well, how lovely. Okay. All right, I get it to this 30 seconds. seven seconds left. Three, two, one, and now I'm going to try to lift this up. And pour some more water since I spilled it on my silicone mat. Let me just wipe this up a little bit. What a hot mess. Oh, sorry. All right, let's see if I can peel this up. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be too sticky. So 
let me uh, let me try some pigment behind it, and I'll be right back. Okay, and just for those of you who don't know, I decided to cure this for another 30 seconds in a water bath just to remove the stickiness. So since I spilled it, might as well put it to good use. So let me sop this up. We'll get rid of it, and I'll be right back. Okay, wasn't intending for this to be a resin tutorial, but um, I thought I would show you. If you guys don't want to use toothpicks for your um, for your resin stir sticks, this is kind of pointy, but a couple bucks at uh, Walmart in the um, where all the spices are for the cookies, and this acts as a nice little stir stick. So I'm going to be using some resin mixed with some pearl nail polish and then a white backing any cheap nail polish I think this is LA colors yeah um, all right now I'll be back okay hopefully you can see this little there's about six little drops of nail polish mixed in with the resin because I don't want to waste my colorant but I'm just going to put a little bit on each one and then we'll come back in and polish it white and that it will give it a mother of pearl look gonna finish this up and cure it and I'll be right back okay we've got a another water bath going or a water cure and I've got a couple seconds left and then let's see how ugly this really is oh my gosh Oh my gosh, that's terrible. You know, you're probably wondering why I went to all the trouble for this tutorial, but it's really aggravating when people want to make pretty jewelry. This is, of course, a sample, but you can use your imagination. Um, yeah, a, a water cure just uh, stops it from sticking, you know, if it's sticky when you take it out, so... 30 second flash cure in there, but look at this. I'm gonna to try to get closer here. This is just awful, awful, awful. None of this could be sold. It just, it's, they're burnt in the middle. They're nearly transparent. But you can see how well the fingernail polish works. There's just a few drips. If you use nail polish, be careful not to um, dip the brush in the resin. Otherwise, you won't have a brush anymore. All right. Well, yeah. So, buyer beware. These things are flying back. I might as well have burned 20 bucks. So, shame on the seller. They deserve a return. Unless you like this look, I wouldn't waste your money at this brand. And the brand is this right there. See? Going back. Thanks for watching. Bye.